Hey everybody out there in TV land, Eddie the Tattooed Realtor here. So I wanted to make a part two or a second video. Heck, I might even make a few videos about the Remind application. It's an amazing asset and tool that every real estate professional should use on a daily basis in order to help generate more leads, uh, potential listings, help their buyers look for properties, become more familiar with the community, become the expert in a community. There are so many resources and tools and, and ways you can use Remind that I highly suggest you check it out. So before we get started, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. I'd love to hear from you. Love to gain you as a subscriber. I'm always trying to create new and useful and impactful uh, information for you to take advantage of each and every day. So starting out of the gate, Remind. Remind is an application, a resource that I access through my real estate association. I belong to the Greater Fort Lauderdale and West Palm Beach Realtor Association here in Southeast Florida. And if your Realtor Association doesn't have it, of course, check with them because, heck, you're already paying for it. Um, maybe you kind of put the two and two together, <laughs> you know, but remind your association together. Maybe they'll be able to connect. I don't know. I, I don't work for them. So um, or you can always go to remind.com and access the information on your own. Sign up for the pro account or for the next account that you're able to afford. I highly recommend it because it's worth its weight in gold. Of course, if you have any questions specifically or about the technical aspects of the Remind app, you don't necessarily, the, the tool, you don't need to contact me. You can contact them. I'd be more than happy to help, but Remind will be the actually greatest resource possible. Once you're logged in, you can click support, or if I click support, I'll show you what's gonna happen, support center. And then what you're gonna see, okay, Oh, because it don't want to open a window. So, all right, so pop-ups always allow. There we go. So, remind.com, you're going to see the Help Center load, get started. I recommend you schedule a demo. Everybody I've talked to, talk, blah, blah, blah. everyone I've spoken to at Remind, including the CEO and a couple of the staff members, have always been extremely useful. So, contact them, reach out to them. So, the layout uh, has the aesthetic feel, and the layout has changed slightly. I feel it's been improved. Before, it wasn't even bad. It's just really cool that Remind always like is focusing on helping their customer base get stronger and stronger and have a better experience with their resource each and every time. Now, Remind takes in all the different data points from the MLS, from, I guess, Airbnb and from county records and from all these different attributes, puts the information in one place. It can even create different uh, resources like a C CMA, Comparable Market Analysis. We're not going to go into that today but you should definitely check that out. So let's go and straight into it. So what we're looking at here is like what I like to call the default view. Now, when you zoom in a little bit, you can zoom in with your little mousey ball thing on your on your mouse, uh, rolly ball thing on your mouse, or you can use here, zoom in, zoom out, little person, and I'm gonna zoom in. So let's say I wanted to farm this little area of Cooper City. And since I wanted to farm this little area of Cooper City, what I like to do, <clears throat> excuse me, is come in here and use the tool resources up top. So I'm going to use a square to come in here. I'm going to click and I'm going to click this little tiny. Uh, you know what? We'll go to here. Click right here. Now, what you're going to do then is I like to zoom in until I see the little blue dots beginning to appear. The little blue dots, when they begin to appear, is indicating individual individual homes that um, they began to calculate and store data. You can kind of see them appearing, see how many there are. Already. That's why sometimes, guys... It, it can take a minute or two for the data to be calculated or computed because it is a lot of data they're country. So bear with them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first remove all these statuses up here, these filters that have been applied. Whoops. Oh, I removed one too many. Did I remove that one? No, I did not. Perfect. I didn't remove too many. See, it's even telling you select a status filter and zoom in to see the properties. Perfect. So I love those little helpful hints. So I'm zoomed in. So the filters are made up of various things. We go through them really quick. So if you've created, you see track over here. If you've created properties you're tracking, you can simply click track properties or tracking and it'll create the list, it'll show you the list you have and you can then be kind of weaning in to become more familiar with it. Airbnb, last sales price, mortgage rate, ownership time, mortgage age, property values, home equity, uh, sell score. Sell score is like an, a, an analytical analysis or their own analytics of comprising a score, dedicating a score to a property based on a bunch of different things. I was recommended to use sales score in addition to other filters at the same time, as opposed to relying totally on sales score. Go land use, let's go down a little bit. Let's see what's over here. We got business, business type. 
And underneath here, there's a couple other, I think because I have the screen a certain res uh, size, it's not letting me scroll down, but that's okay. So what we're gonna do, they have a bunch of other building type, they have ownership, they have equity, they have all kinds of stuff. The ones we use, I use are typically at the top. So first thing I do is I go to building type. When I'm in building type, <clears throat> what I wanna focus in on is single family homes, single family homes, boom. Now you can see the color, the color, different colors and how it's predominantly single family homes around here. So, all right, perfect. So I can click apply. Once it applies, you're gonna to begin to see blue dots appear and disappear because it's gonna help me zone in on what is meeting my criteria. So right now I have an overlay of a trying a rectangle, excuse me, of the space. I have building type single family home. I like to use ownership time. With the ownership time, I like to put seven years or more. So I go to minimum. Once I go to minimum, I then can go into uh, seven years. Once I'm in seven years, I then press apply. And once I press apply, you're going to begin, whoops, see how some blue dots disappeared? Because it's using the criteria I have here to create my specific list. Also, when I begin to look for listings to really focus in on, I look at the equity. Now, the reason why I look at the equity is, yes, some owners that don't have a whole heck of a lot of equity are still going to want to sell. But the equity to me is a big indicator because if you can speak specifically about the equity a homeowner has, and maybe they are on that fence of selling. Now you just provided a huge asset, a huge resource that they can take advantage of um, and, and, and make that move. So what I always usually do is I, you can select some of the pre-selected pre stuff or pre-annotated stuff. I like to put minimum about $30,000. Reason why I choose $30,000 is really just because I like the number. And since I like the number, I, uh, I think that sometimes homeowners would really willing, excuse me, to make the move or maybe even consider selling if they have $30,000 of equity or more. And of course you can obviously pick any, any bracket you want. This is just some things that I do. So I press apply. Once I press apply, once again, you're going to see even more blue dots disappear. So what we see here now is all the blue dots are homes that have a home, a home equity of $30,000 or more. We can see here ownership time of at least seven years and a single family home. Now, what I can also do is I can go over here and I can go to sell score. Now, sell score, once again, is a, I, I guess what I was, the way I understand it, it's like it was like an analytical, like they take all the analysis, push it together, and they create a sales score. They said to use it in addition to the other information. That's why we have the other filters in place already. So once we have that, we can come over here and we can go to, let's say I want to do high sales score. Let's see what happens. Now, high sales score, okay. We can see all the green dots already or the green uh, annotations. We can see the green annotations here and we don't, I don't really see any blue dots on top of any of the green. Okay, we have one here, but you know what? Let's apply it. Let's, let's, let's take green and blue medium together, okay? And we're gonna press apply. Now, what we're doing here is I'm creating like a super list, like a golden list of all potential listings that could meet what I'm looking for. Now, to take you a step farther, because I wanna be able to give you tools on how to use this. You can use other search filters. You can play around with the search filters. You can see what works best for your area. I like what I use, home ownership, home equity, sales score of high and medium. This has really worked well for me in acquiring business. So once I come in here, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So you can come over and you can click track all, and then now you're creating like a specific list of it, or you can click down, and then you can, you see my little list right here? You can then create a label. And in the label, you could actually label this. I'm gonna label it just for the sake of argument. I'm gonna say test. And I'll put today's date because today is the 17th when I'm making this video. And I'm gonna go, boom, add. Now I'm going to, you gotta click apply and you're gonna see everything change to a star that's on my screen. Just give it a second while it collects the data. Sit tight, this may take several seconds. See, now everything's on the starred list. I've added those to my list. Now, because I wanna make sure to add the other ones, see the other ones, little few others, I always kind of move down a little bit, come over here, make sure it's clicked correctly. Sometimes I de-collect and, and click again, and then I press apply. Now, all the properties within my search criteria have been added to my track list, which is great. So now my track list is added so I can track it. Now we're gonna go into that in a minute. This video is about how to use this, so I wanna make sure you understand. Um, and once again, I'm not a Remind staff member or owner or anything like that. You, I don't work for them and I'm not being anything like that. Please just contact them directly. They are a great group of people always willing to help. So let's say, let's go in, let's scroll in a little bit. Let's scroll in, let's scroll in. 
All right, so we're gonna scroll in a little bit. As we scroll in, we can see that there's two stars over here. So let's just click one, and I'm gonna show you how it works. So you click. Once you click, the data is gonna to begin to load. Okay, we got a single family. Now you can click on the address. Now, once you click on the address, now this is where things get interesting. Remind has did a substantial, amazing job of basically putting all the tools in one place. So you can create, uh, you can print it, you can share it, you can create a CMA, edit property details, you can add it to your track list, all that kind of cool stuff. Gives you that nice little crisp front view as well. Map also. Ooh. Then you got all these different records. Now, going straight down, it gives us the sell score of medium, estimated value, estimated net equity of 55,000 years of ownership, and the owner's names. Oh my goodness gracious. Now we have the owner's names. Now that, that I'm going to show you something that's going to blow your mind. So you have the owner's names, uh, bedrooms, estimated obviously. They're not claiming that this could be the exact square footage and acreage size. And it's an off-market property because I'm going to show you. Let me scroll up off-market property, it would say available or under contract or something like that, it's on the MLS. Tax records, key stats, occupancy status, occupied, corporate ownership, no, absentee ownership, no, mailing address, super important. If it's an absentee owner, you know, the mailing address is gonna be a little different a lot of times. Subdivision, neighborhoods, pool, all, I mean, look at all this stuff they have here. Original purchase amount, active mortgage, interest rate. I mean, heck, if I was a mortgage originator, I would use this tool. I'm just saying. I'm not, but I'm just saying. So building features, structure, the neck equity, all that kind of cool stuff. Schools. Oh, man. Awesome. Valuation. Now, this is an estimated value. I like the fact that Remind does give an estimated value of four different resources from four different resources below, and they tell you those resources. You can see a little low, a little high. Of course, we got the Zillow estimate of being super high, but it kind of creates this nice range. And you can also submit the valuation, add your own valuation to improve the accuracy of this property's value. This will be visible to the public. So you could actually add the valuation also, but we're not going to change anything. Scrolling down, household size, household age, split, split, property history, mortgages. Now this is great. This is amazing. Remember how I showed you up here that the names were blue? Let me show you. You can actually click on them. When you click on it, it actually opens up all the properties associated with this particular name. And the email is there and the phone numbers are there as well. I'm going to go back just so we can kind of poke around a little bit more. <clears throat> if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you can get that same information. Emails, social media accounts. I mean, this is, this is amazing, outstanding. Also, the buy score, and I didn't go into that uh, very, very in depth because the buy score or the buy cash buyer is a filter. The buy score indicates their likeliness to buy being low, low, and then the high, medium, and all that kind of cool stuff. And then we also have ownership status. So this is the records. Now, once I'm in the records, I can easily exit this. I'm going to show you really quickly. I'm going to go back because I want to see the other stuff, the other, the other good stuff. So <clears throat> we have all the information here. And then the cool thing is, I'm gonna to go to, uh, let's say track. I'm gonna show you something really cool. So in the track, let's say I'm tracking that specific area. What I can do is I can go into, <clears throat> excuse me, I keep clearing my voice, so my apologies. Go into labels. And then I can go, and with the labels, I can then go into the test. And now what it's gonna do is gonna pull up all those properties specifically in test. Now, this in itself is valuable because what you can do is you can go select all, once you're in select all, you can actually print mailing labels specifically with the address and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna show you what it's gonna do. So for mailing labels, you can select the Avery type or the label type that you're gonna print on. Go print, and I'm gonna show you how it's calculated. So look what it did. It, 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 ah, print. If you can see over here, it actually laid out the owner's name and the address, mailing address, and all you gotta do is print on the labels. How freaking simple is that? Now you've created like a, a streamlined marketing plan, or you can create a CSV file, which allows you to gather all the information and breaks it down here. Nice, nice, easy way. You can add notes, you can delete it, you can do all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to go back to the script. You got word. So anyways, wanted to show you the great tools and assets available to you with the Remind application tool. Once again, my name's Eddie, the Tattooed Realtor, or Eddie Acevedo, but please feel free to call me Eddie, the Tattooed Realtor. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm always here to help. Remind is a great application for all us real estate professionals out there. If you're not using it, I highly recommend you do. Be sure to reach out to Remind directly at Remind.com, or I'll try to include their information in the description as well. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I hope you have a successful 2019. Don't let anyone stand in your way. Always remember to exceed to your fullest potential. I believe in you, and heck, you should believe in yourself. So 
All right, guys, much love, my friends, and I'll talk to you later. May the force be with you.